When you are in a health crisis, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or a Republican. You are desperate to get coverage, you're desperate to get care, you're desperate to be treated with dignity. And there's no reason that it should be like that. I'm Carrie Tipper and I'm running for House District 28. My father died last year. He was a combat veteran, had VA benefits, and he was a teacher in public schools here in Jefferson County. And so he had every benefit really available and arguably some of the best coverage you could have. And despite that, navigating the system was so difficult. One of the things that I saw in my father's health care was this idea that you have to fight for coverage on certain things. Mobility became a big issue for my dad, and it is also one of the most expensive things sort of to address. Getting a stair lift put in a house that, in my parents' case, is split level. Getting coverage for that was near impossible. We really needed that, and at the end of his life, what he was worried about was my mom's financial health. What was she going to do after he was gone? My dad was an example of someone who was in a really good position. But there are plenty of families who are barely making ends meet. In a health crisis, their whole life shifts. We don't have a system that's set up to take care of those folks if there's anything catastrophic that happens. It just is unfathomable to me that money dictates your health outcomes. I'm running for office because I feel like there are some areas that we can improve healthcare. What I think we need is a little bit more representation of the families that are affected, the people that are powerless in those situations. Being from this community, being a lawyer, having worked in private practice and public practice, all of those things help make me someone that's gonna be looking critically at issues, but to be honest, it's the personal experience. That is going to be something that's driving every decision that I make on behalf of my constituents. Local government has the obligation, the responsibility to go out into the community and identify the issues and then start moving forward with solutions.